It's very strange. <laughs> to my channel if you are new here my name is audrey and today i'm gonna eat like the very popular fitness influencer on social media michelle lewin so stay tuned for that let's look up her youtube i don't know what we're going to find but i follow her on youtube already but let's look up her diet okay she's very popular on instagram she's not as popular on youtube but I have followed her since like 2013 and we have very similar body types. So I've always found her motivational. Hold on, I gotta look up her diet. Cause I know that she has videos on here. Okay, so I'm on her page where she talks about what she eats. And this was one of the you things know, like, I wanted to try. All right, breakfast bites. Let's quick, try this. Savory breakfast idea that's full of spinach to provide you with lots of protein, fiber, and vitamins. Coconut oil, I have that. Mushrooms, I have that. Salt pepper. I'm not a huge fan of spinach or mushrooms for that matter, but let's try it. It's actually very similar to what I already ate, but. Almond milk, okay. Okay. All right. Let's try it. <laughs> All right, so we got the coconut oil, two tablespoons. I'm gonna add the mushrooms. And then we're gonna add the three cups. I don't think this is quite two cups, but it's the only amount of mushrooms I had. Okay, after this is set for a few, then you're gonna add the four cups of spinach. This is a lot of spinach. But I know it cooks down to like practically nothing, so. Okay, so I don't have almond milk, but I had cashew milk. So I'm doing four eggs and cashew Real milk. Whisked up good. Okay, so then you add it to the, you add the spinach and mushroom to the egg and stir it up. I don't know, you guys, I'm not a huge fan of mushrooms, but. I will try everything once. Opinion is easy to use. I'm in some trouble here. <laughs> okay, it said it would only fit six, so that's about right. So if you guys have silicone pans, I'm gonna give you a trick. Make sure you put it on a pan to move it around. Otherwise, it's gonna get everywhere. Echo, timer, 25 minutes. 25 minutes, 30 minutes. Echo, cancel timer. All right, guys, moment of truth. Let's see how this turned out. It's kind of overflowing a little bit, but let's taste it. I'm gonna let it cool a little bit. It smells like mushrooms. And like I said, I'm not a huge fan of mushrooms, but I'm gonna let it cool for about 10 minutes and I'm gonna try one. All right, moment of truth, you guys. Let's see how it tastes. I am a little concerned. It's like I said, I'm not a huge fan of mar mushrooms. You know for me. <laughs> I do not like it. I'm not a fan of mushrooms. Ugh, gross.
frozen blueberries. I don't need organic, but. Okay, so I couldn't find bison, oyster sauce, and vanilla protein. So I'm gonna have to hit up Walmart. All right, I don't, oh, they have bison, sweet. Yes, jackpot, I didn't know if they had it or not. All right, we are gonna try this since the egg bites were a fail. This is another one of her recipes. All right, half a cup of oats, protein powder, blueberries, banana, almond milk, little egg bites, forgot that. All right, so I have the oats in there. Got some protein powder. We got the blueberries. I'm gonna stick the two bananas. This is a really small food processor, so I don't know if it's all gonna fit. All right, since my food processor is so tiny, I'm gonna have to do one banana at a time. This actually looks really, really good. I'm excited. I think I have the thing too hot though. I did put cooking spray. I think this might be a win. I don't know guys, we'll see, we'll see. All right, the first one is an epic fail. Like it's like burn but won't flip. Yeah, that's, that's what we call an epic fail here in the business. We're gonna try the griddle. And see that helps at all because that was an epic fail it did not turn out at all so i know you have to do it like at pretty low heat but i can see the edges aren't even changing at all so this might not work either you guys this is another fail like the middle i have it on like medium heat but i wonder if i have to have it on super low heat and just cook it for a really long time because this is not, it's not working. <laughs> okay, this is the third try. I put it on super low heat and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make them really, really small. So they're easier to flip. See if that works. Otherwise, I think this is gonna be another fail and I'm hungry. So far, I've had no luck. Well, I was able to flip it this time, but it looks burnt. <laughs> Oh, you guys, this is gonna be a fail. I can just feel it. I can feel the fail. The crazy part is, is I have it on the lowest setting for the heat and it's still getting burned. I'm like, what the hell? Well, this side doesn't look as bad, but this side looks burned. I'm cooking a few more. We'll see if any of them taste good at least. Obviously they don't look good. <laughs> Well, so far that middle one looks a little better than the other one, but not by much. They're just so hard to flip. Oh, that one actually looks okay. All right, let's try number three. Three times a charm here. I don't think it's quite ready, but we're gonna do it anyway. I think the tricks make it really, really small. Maybe they'll be edible. <laughs> Oh yeah, guys, this looks real good. Mm-hmm, very appetizing. So we got this fail, really not my thing. I feel like this is gonna also be a fail. It, it smells decent. I put it in the microwave because they don't look cooked all the way, but yeah, this, mm-mm. I think the bottom ones are any better. It just looks like a pile of mess. I I don't make pancakes a lot, especially low-calorie pancakes, because this is how they turn out. <laughs> what 
let's try. Not terrible, but not really good. It just like crumbles. What are your ingredients? Banana, blueberries, protein powder, oats. Do you need to add like baking powder or something or baking soda? I mean, they don't taste that bad actually, but they just don't taste like they're cooked all the way. But the flavor is good. You just have to learn the, the technique, I guess, to cooking it. I wonder if it would turn out better in the air fryer. All right, next we're gonna do this chia seeds pudding. It's easy to make chia pudding. It's perfect for breakfast or as a snack. And it's full of protein, fiber, and omega-3 fatty acids. All right, two cups of coconut milk, which this is chunky and it looks very disgusting. And I think there's something wrong with it. But it is what it is, right? This doesn't even make two cups. All right. All right, half a cup of chia seeds. Half of a teaspoon of vanilla. Half of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And one teaspoon of maple syrup, which I don't have, so I'm just substituting for regular pancake syrup. And this is half, so that's why I'm doing two of them. All right, now let's mix it up. Mix, mix, mix. I'm gonna put it into containers and stick it in the fridge. This is like the number one reason I don't try a lot of new recipes. This is just from the two recipes that I just did. <laughs> this is the next thing I'm gonna make. So I gotta prepare the potatoes. Easy enough. I haven't had bison in a long time. It actually looks really good. This is the first one that actually looks and smells good. It Think, babe. Oh, I like it. It's a win. My husband's eating it too, but he has COVID, so he's in the other room. <laughs> Yeah, I really like it. We don't eat beet bison very often, but it's a nice change. I like it. You know that I liked it if I got seconds. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a meat and potatoes kind of girl. <laughs> So this is what we're going to be making right These now. These chocolate hazelnut bites are the perfect snack to keep you going all day long and contains healthy fat to stabilize your hormones. All right, I have everything measured out except for the peanut butter. The chia seed pudding is done, so I am gonna try it and see if it's any good. Chia seed 
pudding snack. Let's try this. I don't know. I've tried cheese seed pudding before. And cheese seed sometimes can rather my stomach. It looks like, <laughs> it looks like bugs to me. <laughs> cheese seeds look like bugs, you guys. Like, look at that, look at that texture. It's very strange. Yeah, it doesn't taste like anything. It's just like merp. Yeah, it needs something. It needs like a sweetener. I don't like it. <laughs> Joe, I don't like it. I have to take a few bites before I decide no. Man, a lot of these recipes have been a fail today. Uh, out of 10, I'm gonna give this a, a one or a two, that's how. Jeez, it's that bad? Yeah, it's, it's bad. I think it's that bad. I don't know, it's just so bleh. Hard pass. Ooh. This is today's last recipe and I really hope it turns out because I've only had one thing taste good. <laughs> is pile number two. I don't like cooking with lots of ingredients. And I saw these pans in this thing too. <laughs> uh, never ending. This is the last thing I made for the day. I really hope it's good because everything today has been bad except for one thing. <laughs> I'm gonna go on this side, I think. It looks good, you know? It's like a chocolate. I don't know what you want to call it, but promising. All right, Joe. It's got lots of different stuff in it. You can try it and tell me what you think. I I don't know if Dad wants to try it. All right. It's very crumbly on the other side. All right, so rundown, what are all the things you put in this thing? I think it's good. Okay. Hazelnut, cashews, dates, peanut butter, coconut, flour, dark chocolate. I think that's it. It's pretty good. I like it. So it's basically just like nuts and mm -hmm. chocolate. Exactly, nuts and dates and chocolate. I'd make it again, definitely. Ask Dad if he wants to try it. But he's like, I wanna try it. <laughs> well guys, it did not go as planned. <laughs> I do like trying new things and it was exciting to try all these new things and new recipes and things like that because I love trying new things. But when they're all a fail, you feel like you wasted your day. <laughs> I was driving over town. I went to Albertsons. I went to Trader Joe's. I went to Walmart and I got all the ingredients. And then when you go to all that effort to make it and it's not good, you're just like... <laughs> I will say that I really did like the bison and sweet potato meal with the onions. And I did like the dessert at the end. But everything else was awful. I would never make it again. <laughs> I'll probably be doing more like diet challenges and I will definitely be sharing like my workout regimen and things like that. Lots more organization stuff, lots more party stuff. So you guys will have to stay tuned for that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. I'll subscribe and hit that bell for notifications.